What is up you guys? Welcome to episode 7 of Super Flat Survival. On today's episode, it's going to be a lot less of an exploration adventurous episode and more of a uh, resource gathering and uh, building episode. We're going, to, we're going to be making some uh, potato and carrot farms. We're also going to be making some farms for our mobs, like stables and stuff like that. And hopefully, we find a horse because we got a whole bunch of diamond horse armor that we need to utilize. So uh, let's go ahead and put this stuff away. Um, there's our wheat. You know, we, we actually should be getting a lot more than just that before we stop. Let's put this in there too. Um, I did uh, get a little bit of wheat while I was off camera, and while I was also off camera, I did, oh gosh, look at this humongous farm, we should have went down the other staircase on the other side, that would make more sense, um, but we, uh, cut down a lot of trees, as you can see from our chest full of oak and, uh, oak saplings, and we don't have a whole lot of apples, but we, but we got them, that's the point, and then we got some bone meal as well, um, so, maybe I might make a villager farm too, but I'm not so sure about that. But what I am sure about is I need to make more wheat. So let's go ahead and take out these seeds here and start planting. Okay, guys, we just got done farming, and we got a crap ton of resources. We got a crap ton of wheat, a crap ton of seeds, a crap ton... Well, okay, not a crap ton of bone meal, but we got a crap ton of everything. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a lot of our wheat. And I feel bad that we just filled up an entire chest, and now we're about to take a good portion of that chest just so we can go get some redstone. Because I'm in dire need of that, and I need redstone to do some more cool stuff for you guys. So uh, we, gra we got our wheat... Now let's go find a village. Okay guys, we are back home, getting 30 levels of XP uh, because we're going to be enchanting one of our shovels so we can dig and make decent paths to where they're supposed to be. So, uh, as you can see, we got a lot of gravel while we were out and some redstone. Uh, so where is our shovel? There it is. I don't know why I couldn't see that before. So we got efficiency four, unbreaking three, fortune three. Very good enchantment. And now let's go back and start working on our paths. <laughs> And now that we just got our gravel pass put in, making it look all sexy and like, it's time to tear down the old villager house that we used to store them in and uh, maybe turn it into something better looking. So let's do that real quick. Okay guys, we just got done tearing down that ugly looking house that we used to store the villagers in. And I gotta say, it already looks a lot better, even with it not being there. Ooh, emptiness. I don't know what we're gonna put here, but I don't know. 
what do you guys think I should put here? I'll leave that up to you guys. Unless I already build something there, then it just makes it pointless. But you know what? Just leave a comment anyway. And we'll see if you're correct when I actually start making it. So next thing on our to-do list is to build uh, the underground farm. Yes, it's going to be underground. I know it's a crazy concept to grasp in your mind. But, uh, oh god, I'm, I'm running out of hunger. Uh, start eating. So yeah, it's going to be underground. I'm going to make it underneath of the wheat farm. Kind of have the same look and feel of uh, what this looks like, just underground. And uh, we're going to see how that turns out. I already started working on it. It's like a little pathway right here that goes underground to where it's going to be. Um, and I think it looks quite nice. I, I especially like that. It just, I don't know, it just fits. And if you look at my inventory, we see I got all the things I'm going to need. I got the redstone and the pistons for the automated water stuff. I got uh, some glowstone that I made from uh, the glow dust I collected. And uh, I got some some, some slide. Oh, okay. You see everything I got. I got everything I need for it. So now that we have everything, let's start working on it. And we are done building, for now anyway. But, uh, yeah, these builds took me quite a while to make, but I am pretty impressed with it, so why not show you guys? So let's go ahead, switch over our uh, game mode view right there, put on our hot bar, and start the tour. So, uh, as you can see, the wheat farm looks pretty much the same. Nothing has changed to it, but you guys seen the time-lapse footage, and you've seen this awesome staircase, but where does it lead? To our potato farm. Of course, our underground potato farm. And uh, I like the, how the glowstone kind of simulates heat lamps. That way the plants can grow. I mean, really they do. I mean, they do act like heat lamps. Because if you place like torches above uh, your uh, plants and uh, your glowstone or whatever, it will actually help the plants grow. Um, just like normal sunlight would. Not, not any faster. Um, but, you know, same rate as usual. But anyway, uh, if we continue the tour, we got our nice chest right here so say we were to hit that lever just like the one above water would come out bring everything down to a single feed pickup we just take that bring it over here and uh, start planting again so that is pretty freaking cool but that is not the only thing I did I also built something else that I didn't show on camera because it's pretty much the same uh, process so you just be watching me build this all over again so of course by that little subliminal clue right there not only do you get uh, light glitches but you also get yes Another farm underneath of a farm that's underneath of a farm farm inception right there <laughs> Same exact uh, farm as the one above it and the one above that uh, But uh, you know, it's just it's it's carrots. So well, that is cool that we have carrots on us Yes, we do all right So let's go ahead head our way back up so I can show you the other build that I am extremely proud of and I hope you guys like it because I Just think it looks so beautiful 
It's so beautifully fantastical that I just have to show you guys, and I'm going to do that right now. So let's head our way on over there so I can show you guys this awesome build. Look at that. Doesn't it just look, oh, it just looks so sexy. Just, ooh, so nice. Wait. <gasps> we got a creeper in there. Oh, God. Okay, we need to go and get a sword because I don't have one on me right now. Why are they spawning in there? Okay, I'm pretty sure I have plenty of lights. <sighs> okay, do we got a sword? Yes, let's get a sharpness for a sword. We need some bread. Ate some bread, got our sword. Let's kill that creeper that's fucking with our pigs. Not today, creeper. Not today. Where you at? <sighs> um... I swear I seen a creeper in here just a second ago. I don't want this thing sneaking up on me. Oh god, this is this is intense. So while I would ah, Whoa! Hello! No! Damn it, you son of a bitch! Ah, uh, You butthole. Okay, now we gotta fix this. I came in here ready to fight, ready to kill a creeper, and he ended up blowing up my shit. Went back to the house, slept, got the farmhouse fixed so I can explain to you guys how everything works. Um, so anyway, this is a pretty intricate design uh, for a farmhouse. It, it, it honestly looks more like a house than a farmhouse. But you guys know me, go big or go home. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look on the inside. It has a nice little cozy feel for our farm animals. So they are kept nice and happy. And it looks like, it, did a creeper blow one of them up? It looks like they might have. Um, but we got soul sand here. Gives it a nice little poop kind of look because animals poop. They get stuff dirty. So it has that like soil kind of look to it. Um, but something else that makes this farm awesome is that it has a redstone contraption behind this wall that when I kill an animal, it drops down to the hoppers below it, sends it down over here to the droppers that get pushed up to the other hoppers that get sent into these chests. Um, so let's show it in all its glory and how it works. So if we throw a couple of bread in there, you'll see that they're disappearing and dropping down into the hoppers. They get pushed along into here, but of course they're not going to make it into the chest because the droppers um, have to be redstone activated to get pushed up. So that's why we got these levers right here. So, so if we flip that on, you'll hear a lot of clicking noises. And what that'll do is it'll start pushing our bread and everything into... Uh, the chest right there and as you can see I got a fence because from that goddamn creeper So yeah, so we got a nice little automated farmhouse right here Because nothing bothers me more than having to walk into the pig pen when I kill an animal just to pick up its goodies Then to walk over to a chest and have to store it in here Why not make some shortcuts make it quicker more efficient and just overall a better more efficient farm uh, Something else that I did was I made a little quadrants for our farm animals So over here I, I'll probably put like chickens and then our sheep and then on the other side, we got our pigs, obviously, and then we got some cows. So that means that we need to go find ourselves some pigs, some chickens, and some sheep, and maybe even find ourselves some horses. So I'm probably going to need to make some horse stables. I'll probably put that, like, right over here beside the farmhouse, or I don't know. Um, but before I can go finding horses, I need to make a uh, slime farm for some reason. I don't know how in the world that makes any sense whatsoever, but it does. We need slimes to make leashes for our horses and other stuff. I don't know. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go get some experience to uh, enchant our tools a little bit more, make some more tools, and uh, that way the building process goes a little bit faster. I'm probably going to build it um, where the carrot farm is, probably just keep digging down there. And uh, that will, you know, because we already dug down that far, why not go ahead and just keep digging down for our, a uh, slime farm? Uh, just seems logical to me anyways so let's go ahead and start gathering some experience
Okay, guys, we just got done building our slime farm. It took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take. I thought it was only going to take, like, an hour or so, but it took a, just a little bit longer than that. Um, but anyway, in the time lapse, I showed uh, me putting glowstone down on the floor for the uh, spawning pad for the slimes, and uh, they weren't spawning. So I changed it over to torches, and it seems to be working now, but I don't know. If it is because of glowstone, let me know in the comments down below. But let's get on with the tour. Um, so... Right here you see I got fences and torches, but down here I decided to change it up and put lava behind it, you know, because the farther you go, it just kind of gives it that more ambient feel, you know, like appropriate look to it. So I, I, I got these spread out nice and even to give it a, a pretty cool look, and I got one over here as well. And if we come over this way, I got a little glass in front of our spawning uh, pad for the slimes, and uh, I also got my chest here with uh, some materials in it, but uh... Oh no, I think it looks pretty good. I wasted so much iron putting those hoppers down there. Hopefully, uh, it works out good. See, like, there's no real good way, unless you're playing, like, classic Super Flat Survival. Um, there's, like, no good way f to make a um, slime farm. Like, because you can't use cactuses to kill them and other things. So, it, it just makes it a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, I already got some slimes. Let's see if we got some more. Same method in the farm. Let's see if we got any. Nope, and we don't got any more slimes. Damn it. That sucks. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead, take that slime, and make our way back up so we can go ahead and make some leads. Okay, our, I believe our string is somewhere. And yeah, okay, there it is. Um, if my memory serves me correct, it should be four. No, it's, it's three there, one there, and I think it's... Yep, okay. We got some leads. You know, let's go ahead and just craft a couple more. We'll make... Uh, a total of six, I think it is. Six, yes. All right, put our slime balls in here just for now. And uh, why are all my tools in here and not in there? Oh, because I got no room. That's right. Um, I got to check one more time just to see if slimes are spawning. So I'm going to go down there real quick and check again. I really just want to make sure that it's working right. It worked once, so it has to work again. That's That's my thinking of this, my desperate thinking. So, make our way down here, we'll go over to our chest, turn on the lever, and see if we get any slimes. Oh, we got slimes! We got slimes! We got eight slimes, Jesus! Yet we don't see any in there. I don't know, leave your comments down below if uh, you have any ideas of why it's not working. In the meantime, I'm going to go up here and start going on my adventure to find a horse. And by the way, while I am walking my way up here to start my adventure, um, I just got a quick question for you guys. Would you guys uh, mind it if I did a Hunger Games series? Uh, I mean, like, I know a lot of YouTubers do it. Mine wouldn't be, like, every day to where, like, you know, in, like, a month I'd have, like, 300 episodes out. It, it, it just, it'd still be a once-a-week kind of thing. I promise I won't do it, like, all cliche like everyone else i'll put a little bit of editing into it make it interesting and different for you guys and i don't know maybe i'll do it with my girlfriend maybe do some special stuff like every time i die i have to um i don't know i don't know i'll th i'll think about it if you guys like it enough so oh, a cow two cows we got cows people and we don't have any wheat let's go fix that real quick wait what's that another cow Yes, we got cows. Grab some wheat, and then we can go and bring them into our farmhouse. Hey, cow. I know you want some of this wheat. Let's go get your buddy and make some... <gasps> Three cows. Yay. Come on, cows. Come on. Now we got three cows. Yeah, I can count. Don't worry, cows. You're almost in there. You're almost in. And there would be a zombie. Really? Come on. You're ruining everything. Get in there. Get in there. Ah, oh, Jesus. That was way too difficult. And it's nighttime. Yay. Let's just take care of you real quick. And then we can go to sleep. There we go. Now let's go to bed. Ah, oh, that was too difficult for those cows. These little damn zombies are so... Vicious. And this is why I usually sleep through the night. Because I don't like dealing with all the mobs. 
put the other water bucket in there and uh, the arrow as well. Okay guys, I think we got pretty much everything that we need and we are good to go.